and welcome back to a new Friday Reviews video. I'm sorry for the lack of videos this week, but we have Monday Movie Hunting and Friday Reviews, of course. Um, now, this week with the films, they might lack in quantity, but they definitely make up for it in quality. I watched some amazing films this week, and I'm so excited because I feel like this week I watched some films I really just thought, yes, there's some really good films. So, so the first one that I watched was Hunt for the Wilder People and I've been really excited about this. I just kind of knew that I was going to like it looking at the front cover. I watched a little snippet of the trailer and I thought yes this is for me. And it's also from the director of What We Do in the Shadows which I watched a couple of weeks ago and enjoyed as well. So I was kind of knew what I was going into here. So basically, oh and also before I get into the story, this boy here was in Paper Planes and he was definitely my favourite part of Paper Planes. I feel like he could be Rebel Wilson's brother, but maybe that's just me. Um, so basically this is set in New Zealand and this boy here, um, Ricky Baker, is basically a bit of a troublemaker. He's been in foster care and, you know, three different things and then the, uh, what are they called? Child Services find him a home with two, with a, you know, a nice New Zealand couple and it's not, I'm not explaining this very well am I? Anyway they're a bit quirky, they're a bit weird and something happens and then the boy and the man end up having to go on this big wood trip. Wood trip? Forest trip? They're in the woods! Oh, I thought it said woods in the front the title. They ha they're out in the woods, they're, they get lost, they're in the woods, they're on a bit of a trip. Okay, and then because of this, you know, no one knew they were going out there, they got lost, this whole thing happens. There's a big manhunt against them now because they're wondering why he's run off with the boy in the woods and why they've not come back and all this kind of stuff. So the police are out there, child services are out there, everybody's looking for these two and it just is a brilliant film. Uh, some of the lines in this film are fantastic, some of the movie references are brilliant, all the characters are brilliant. I just loved it so, so much. I gave it five stars. I just loved it. The scenery was fantastic, cinematography was brilliant. I personally just loved this so much. The story was just so funny. I was laughing so many times. I feel like it maybe is a bit um, kind of, there's, it pokes fun at people. They poke fun at each other and I feel like if you don't like that, I feel like it's got to be your kind of thing. I feel like if you don't like that, um, maybe it's not your kind of thing, but it's kind of funny in a weird way. And I can't explain it, but I loved it. It's definitely my kind of humour. And I definitely can't wait to see more from this director and more from the young boy as well. We've also got Sam Neill in this. Is that his name? Yeah. Uh, this this boy's called Julian Dennison. Anything that he's in now, I want to watch it. I think he's so funny. Again, he's my favourite Paper Planes. I loved this movie. I gave it five stars. If you haven't seen it, it is on UK Netflix. So I definitely recommend it. And people told me it was on UK Netflix before I picked it up. But then I thought, you know what? I'm so glad that I did pick it up because I enjoyed it so much. So that is Hunt for the Wild People. And then next, I thought, can it get better than this? I loved Hunt for the Wild People, which I watched on Monday. Then on Tuesday, I watched Kubo and the Two Strings. Okay, so Car Caroline, I loved. Paranorman, I loved and thought it was very funny. Caroline was a bit more creepy and eerie. And then the Box Trolls came out. And I was disappointed in the Box Trolls. And this is all from the um, same animation studio, if you're wondering why I'm comparing them three. And then the next one is Kubo. Okay, so Kubo started out, and for me it started out a little bit slow. Also, point to mention, I did watch this in 3D, and the 3D was brilliant and fantastic. I definitely would recommend 3D viewing of, if you get a chance. Um, yes, yeah, so I was really happy. It was the first 3D film I'd watched in about a year, so it's a bit crazy. Uh, anyway, it starts out kind of a bit slow for me. I was kind of like, hmm, what's going on here? But visually, it's beautiful. Um, and then it really just took a storm when, let's see, I was on the back, the monkey. When the monkey first came into it, it was brilliant. I thought, oh yes, I love the monkey. And then from there, I just felt like it was just adventure filled. I want to say adventure pack, but that's action pack. But no, it was adventure, adventure, adventure. So much magic and wonder. And I loved the end. And I loved the monkey. And I loved all the characters. And I loved the beetle. And I just loved it all. And it was brilliant. Now, there's a scene inside a whale. If you've seen the film, you know. And I thought that was brilliant, definitely one of my favourites. That was kind of where I felt like, yes, I love this monkey. Uh, I loved Kubo, of course, I loved his powers, I loved the message of the film. It was just overall a brilliant film in every way. Like I say, visually, it was stunning, it was such a good animation, definitely one of my favourites of last year. Um, 
I just definitely recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it. I mean, I know a lot of people are talking about this one now, and it's not as underrated as maybe it was when it first came out, because people are obviously recognising it, because it is a brilliant film. And of course, I gave it five stars, and I just loved it. And I can't wait to watch this one again. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So yeah, Hunt for the Wilder People and Kubo were my Monday Movie Hunts pickups of the year, of the year, of the week. Watched them both, loved them both, can't wait to watch them both again. So this week was a big tick and that was really good. So I'm so far watched all my Monday Movie Hunts of 2017, so I'm all up to date, so that's good. Now the final film that I watched this week, which I watched on Wednesday, was Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now of course I've seen this before, I've seen it about three times before or four times. I actually picked this up on a Monday years ago, before I filmed Monday Movie Hunting, I used to actually go Monday Movie Hunting, I was in college and I used to pop down to the uh, Sainsbury's actually, to the Sainsbury's and I picked this up and I'm sure I picked up Super 8 as well or something similar to that on the same day uh, and I picked this up on release day, I went home, I watched it, I really enjoyed it and then I showed it to my mum, we watched it all together, loved it again, I think since then I've watched it once, so maybe I've watched it three times. So this is my fourth time watching the film. Now I found out, because of course the announcement for War of the Planet of the Apes, I knew that War of the Planet of the Apes was coming out this year, um, and things like that, so I was just speaking to Josh about it, and he hadn't seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and I was like, what, you've not seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes? And he said, no, he thinks he's seen a little bit of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now, I have actually not seen Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I picked it up in Monday Movie Hunts 2017, uh, no, 2014, and I think it came out on the same day as Guardians of the Gal Galaxy. I watched Guardians of the Galaxy, I loved it, I watched it a million times. Kind of forgot about Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So I want to watch that soon, probably next week, um, especially now after watching this one again. Uh, but I did want to refresh myself and watch this again. And of course I loved it, it's an amazing film, I gave it 5 stars. It was so good, I loved it probably even more this time, I really got into it. Plus I didn't realise it was James Franco, I was watching I was like, oh, James Franco's in this. Didn't realise that the first time I watched it. So yeah, can't wait to now watch, finally watch, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then I'll be all ready and caught up for War of the Planet of the Apes. So yeah, those are the three films I watched this week, and they were all five-star films, so I had a good, happy week in movie watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen any of these. If not, obviously, I definitely recommend every single one of them. I will see you guys next time. Thumbs up if you enjoy Friday reviews, movie reviews. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, or if you are a newbie, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!